So as an aside, please correct the parse return statement and parse let statement methods. At this point, we are just skipping to the next semicolon and calling it quits. These need to be replaced with a shiny new call to parse expression. So now that we have written the algorithm for Pratt parsing, we need to understand it a little bit better. The algorithm itself is elegant, which means that it does something complex very simply. And if we aren't careful, elegance means understanding will pass us by. Remember that we have defined the following operator precedents for our parser. We have also associated these values with different tokens. The best way to understand Pratt parsing is to go through an expression or two by hand. We are going to walk through the following two. I recommend you have the code open as we walk through this and pause as needed. Let's start with the first expression. Pratt parsing is going to go through this left to right in one pass. The first thing that is going to happen is our parser is going to call parse expression with a precedence of none. Our parser will then inspect our current token and determine that it needs to call the parse integer literal method we created to parse the value of 4 into an integer literal expression. Now we begin to enter the magic of Pratt parsing. At this point, we are going to enter into a while loop, and the condition checks if our current precedence, which is passed into the parse expression function, is less than the next token's precedence. In this case, it is true. None is less than the precedence of sum. In this comparison, if the current token's precedence is less than the next token's precedence, it means that the next expression is more important, and we need to handle it first. With that said, we enter our loop and we retrieve the parse function associated with the next token plus, which resolves to the parse infix expression method. At this point, we advance our parser forward by one token. We then call the parse infix expression method, and we are going to pass the expression we just parsed, which just contains the value of four. Our new context will be inside of the parse infix expression. Parse infix expression will create an expression using the left side that we passed in and the plus token as the operator. We will also retrieve the precedence associated with our current token, which is plus. We then advance our parser forward by one token. To retrieve the right side of the expression, we call parse expression again, this time passing in the precedence we just retrieved, which is plus. This is very similar to the first go around, and we will use the parse integer method to retrieve an expression that holds the value of three. We again are going to enter into our while loop comparing precedents. Our current precedence plus is less than the next precedence, which is mult. So we will enter into the loop. This comparison here is really trying to say something that takes higher precedence than I do is coming down the pipe. So I will pass myself in as the left side expression and let them continue on. So we advance our parser and call parse infix expression again to handle the multiplication. Inside of parse infix expression, we're going to create a new expression with the left side that has a value of three and with an operator of multiplication. And at this point, I think we can see the pattern, so I'm gonna skip a little. This will end up calling parse expression to populate the right side. All that is going to do is parse the integer literal eight, and at that point, there's nothing left in the expression to parse, so it just returns that value eight is the right side expression. At this point, we're going to start to unwind our call stack. This multiplication expression will become the right side of the addition expression. And we could picture the final structure like this. Because the right side of the plus expression contains our multiplication expression object instead of a literal value, we know that it needs to be executed first. And this is that Pratt parsing magic in action. And to send the point home, let's just switch the order of operations for our expression, and we will go through this one a little bit faster. First, we call parse expression with a value of none, which will first parse our value four, and we will do our precedence comparison. We enter the loop because none is less than molt, which means more important things are coming and we need to parse more. We will also advance our parser by one. We call parse and fix expression, passing in the integer expression with a value of four. This will build our infix object and advance our parser by one. Then we will populate the right side with a call to parse expression, this time passing in our precedence level of multiplication. As per usual, this will have a quick call to parse our next integer literal three. Now we enter the loop and do our comparison. 
but at this point we don't continue on. Our comparison check says, hey, what I got going on thus far with this multiplication beats whatever's coming next, me first. And we start to unravel our call stack. Once we unwind to our first call to parse infix expression, we have an expression that looks like this. And our while loop is going to execute once again. Our next precedence is advanced to plus, which is greater than none, so we will call the parse infix expression again. But instead of just a meager integer value as the left side, we will pass this completed multiplication expression as the left side. This call to parse infix expression will build an addition expression. And to once again go quickly, the right side of this addition object will be parsed by working through the integer literal of eight. And our final complete expression will look like this. Once again, we have a complex expression on our left side and a basic literal value on the right. So while executing, we know what to execute first. And with that most wonderful, witty, and wild walkthrough, just remember that the key is the comparison in the while loop. It determines whether or not there might be mightier expressions coming after that need to be done first. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next one. See ya.